What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, first off, coffee. So I should be finalizing the take manifold today. Um, I'll be changing out the fuel line, fuel hoses on the, in the engine bay, because I messed those up. And then uh, hopefully we get this on today. But I still need to do a couple of other stuff, but uh, we'll see. Oh yeah, let's go talk about what just happened. So I grinded off the coolant ports here, here, the one on the throttle body here and here. It's not needed because it was uh, running through those hard lines, the ones that's located. Oh look, there's some mosquito coil. Anyways, those hard lines. So I decided to cut it off so that way it's a little bit cleaner and um, if I need the space, those those hoses or those ports won't be blocking. So two things happened while I was doing it. The one on the throttle body when I was cutting it, um, you can see got to a little close call with the throttle body here and the casket. And also kind of notched its way into the my little bypass cap here. So that was one. See a little etching here. No, I think that's from sanding it down. And then there was this one. And I was cutting this one off. Um, I don't know if you saw it caught in this time lapse, but the intake manifold shifted and then it ended up grinding a little bit into here. Good thing I, I can react pretty quick. But it um, doesn't appear that there's a hole, but cross my fingers that that won't be a vacuum leak later. But um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and um, Open the hood here. We're gonna go and replace the fuel hose that comes out of the fuel filter and the one that's for the return. Uh, that's one, and then we're gonna throw the fuel rail back onto the intake manifold. Um, yeah, make sure that all my vacuum hoses are, are where they need to be. And um, I actually need to fix one more thing on the, on the, then take manifold i'll show you show you a little boo boo i did all right so the vacuum my my vacuum that i teed off into for my my boost gauge here's the hose here but um i'll show you why I, I teed it off because i wasn't too sure where i can tee it off it's almost like i could do it but i teed it off here and this actually is the vacuum for the fuel rail and um a friend kind of advised that I shouldn't use that as a vacuum it's not a very reliable source of vacuum for my boost gauge I thought because it's just a the boost gauge that well it makes sense because it's probably gonna read vacuum pressure for the fuel rail so I'm gonna go ahead and change this hose um, run my boost gauge off something else maybe tee it off the boost controller I still thinking about what I'm gonna do for it but um yeah <laughs> we'll see So while I was working on that, I caught my son doing this. Working on your truck, baby? Okay. All done. All done? All right. <laughs> All right, so I've buttoned up the intake manifold as much as I can, I'm trying to figure out what else I need before I um, actually put it back onto the head. I actually need to like do a couple other things. 
so one of the, the fuel injector connectors that we got uh, that I have on my car actually cracked it when I was swapping to the SR20 injectors so I actually have new connectors that I need to wire up I don't know if I want to do it like that or if I sh I'll probably put the intake manifold also my knock sensor is cracked so I actually might order or might go buy sorry about that might buy a new knock sensor plus it's about lunchtime right now and I've let my son roam around for far too long as you can see over there <laughs> so um I guess we'll take a little bit of a break and uh see you in a little bit a little longer than a few minutes later all right so I just came back from two different uh, auto parts stores one I went to go get my knock sensor paid a pretty good penny but it's better than the other one so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that and I also got some hold up real quick some more vacuum tubing because for some reason I just don't have enough anyways <laughs> I'm gonna place some of the the cracked vacuum hoses on the like for the fuel pressure plus I need to change that out because I teared off into it and I'm just gonna make a straight line so go ahead and go ahead and um, replace the knock sensor it's pretty simple it's just held by one bolt especially when you have the intake manifold off and that's the reason why I didn't want to put it back on till I got the knock sensor and now I have a knock sensor so I'll go ahead and replace that and I'll get to work pretty simple when the manifold's off so here's a knock sensor you better, better look at it I don't know if all this cracking on the housing would have caused some uh, some issues but at least now that I got a new one hopefully it's better so this one's gonna go in the trash and uh we'll go ahead and change the rest of those hoses i need change all right so that's done um should i guess we're just about ready to go ahead and throw the intake manifold back on sorry the mosquitoes are really chowing me um so i got this intake manifold gasket which is um i don't remember the material it's a thermal intake manifold gasket i ordered it on ebay yeah yeah ebay whatever but uh the brand is torque solution and um yeah hopefully it's good i hear some good and bad things about using a thermal intake manifold gasket but i also hear a lot of good things so we'll find out how it is calling it a day my legs have taken enough beating hold on let me load down my music real quick so it's one it's been one hell of a fucking journey not gonna lie doing this all by myself and actually doing it for the first time so thank you for joining me on this journey um mintake manifold is back fucking on that was an experience I'm not gonna say it's one of the hardest things I've had to done. Had to do, had to done, had to do. Um, it is one of the most tedious things I've had to do on my personal car. Um, harder than a subframe, harder than a clutch, for some odd reason. Just so many parts, so many things blocking in the way, things like that. So, there it is. Um, still got like a couple of other things actually not a couple there's a lot more things to do left uh such as rewire the engine uh the new fuel injector connectors um i still need to install my new radiator install the fans wire up the fans bleed the brakes can okay, you name it still gotta do the the throttle cable put that on and then 
figure out, hopefully cross my fingers, that I actually have a spark. Don't have a spark, then um, we'll get into more testing. That's probably not gonna be on a vlog because it's a little bit embarrassing. Kind of my weak point with the electrical. Yeah. So continue to follow me, subscribe, you know, like, comment, subscribe. You know the freaking deal, whatever they say. All the YouTubers say it, all the vloggers say it. But also be safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, continue to social distance. Um that's it for now. Be safe. Oh, somebody